Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and I don't know how about you, but over the last year the Team Black Sheep kind of spoiled me with their Unify Pro video transmitter series. Probably, probably the best video transmitters on the market, but they have a problem. They are expensive like hell because 50 bucks for a for a video transmitter is really a lot and I will not invest uh, 50 bucks into every quad I'm building because I would go bust and and no yes if I really want to have reliable good quality and uh, good video transmission quality then I yes I take my wallet pay 50 bucks get the how it's called Unify Pro V3 HV version put it on the on something big and it and it flies but if I'm building a small racing quad, do I really have to pay that much? Yes, the 200 milliwatts race version does there, but it's still like 25 bucks. Maybe there is something cheaper. I decided to check. Mm, I decided to check and today I have something really, 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 really cheap. Ichin, Airchin, let's say it's Ichin. TX 805 that costed me 16 bucks per unit. 800 milliwatts smart audio MMC X connector better than the Unify. Uh, Building um, additional antenna and come on everything. Is it good? Let's take a look. Ichin TX 805. What's in the box? The box. <sighs> Do I really need the box? Okay, it's a nice touch, but it's a waste of everything. It's a transmitter. It's a transmitter with the uh, MMCA connector here on the side. And also small whip antenna, so you can just use this one. In the form factor, this is 36 millimeters by, I think, 18 millimeters. Let me check. So it's a half size, no, 22 millimeters. So it's a half size of the flight controller, but the whole spacing is uh, 30 and a half millimeters. Uh, focus. So you actually can, and it's not focusing. So you can actually can put it on top of your stack, just like I did over here. There's a PDB flight controller and on top I have the Ichin TX05 and the pigtail connected over there. This is experimental to see if this is really working. And, uh, and yeah, the build quality. The build quality is, I have to say, reasonably good. Um, there is a built-in... It's not focusing. There's a built-in microphone so you have the audio feed there are no of any of those stupid connectors that you connect your cables to you just solder cables and you are happy to go kind of big choke that suggests that the power section the voltage stabilizer on that is is kind of like decent quality at least uh, mmcx connector great 11 centimeters pigtail great uh, there are LEDs indicating the channel and the band and the power. One button to switch between them. Everything what you really need. The transmitter section itself it's pretty standard seen in many many transmitters. I don't think they really did anything new over there. I never remember the the name of this section. Never mind. It's it's a separate board on the top of the, the CPU board and it's just there. You just connect everything and it's just working. I connected this to a quad, connected one wire to the one serial port to have the smart audio and on Betaflight and it worked. Cool, come on, because come on. What else do you do you really need? It's not small, it's visibly bigger than the TBS Unify, full TBS Unify Pro, but not that much. MMCX is a nice one. Uh, no stupid connectors. Um, heavier. Okay, this is heavier because if if I'm gonna take the scale and I'm gonna put the the TBS Crossfire, uh, not Crossfire, damn Unify, it weighs 7 grams. This thing though, it's 13. It's twice as heavy. 
So if you are building a super light, then maybe it's not your best choice. But if you are building a super light, you rather do not go for the component that costs sixteen dollars. Hey, that's that's really that's really bloody cheap. This one fifty, but this one will go on the few hundred dollar worth airplane. Uh, this one will go on the old quad. So there's a difference. There's a difference. The only question that is there is it does it have the good enough for the value, quality, and the range and the durability? About durability, pff, come on, no idea. We will know in the year or two how much of those burned, how much did, how many, many, how many did not. Um, but the video quality. Watch the DVR! Final verdict for the Echin TX805? Uh, yeah, come on, I like it. For the price, you really cannot expect more. It just works. Smart Audio 800 milliwatts auto, it's like 800, but okay. Uh, decent uh, video quality, everything is there. Great, 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 great. I really think, Echin, that you did a reasonably good job over here. Thumbs up. Not the best, but it's really good. Nice. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.